So in order to make this uh, banner, what you're going to want to do is first go to this website called Canva and they have a lot of different templates. There's also an iPhone app, so if you don't have a computer, this is a way that you can also make these banners as well. But you'll see on this first page, there's an option for YouTube channel art and then it will bring you to these options right here. You can go ahead and just click on a random one. I just clicked on this one and I just highlighted the text and stuff and deleted it. And then you see that box up in the top where you can change the color of the background. I'll show you guys how to actually change this to a like brick wall later or some other photo, but for right now I'm just going to put a color in the background. And I'm also playing around with the color wheel too because I wanted it to be more muted. Then what you're going to do is go to text on the side and if you scroll down there'll be this option for the neon sign text and it'll say love you. I just went ahead and deleted the U and then I clicked on the love and I typed in the name of my channel so that I had it there. Now you're going to notice it's big and it doesn't quite fit correctly on the uh, image so what I'm going to do is just resize it so that it's a lot smaller. Then what I'm going to go ahead and do is just play around with the size until I decide that I like it. Another thing that I'm just editing is I'm ungrouping the bunch of the text boxes and stuff so that I can just delete that other one and then just resize the text box for iEditing X if that makes sense. If you watch what I'm doing you'll understand what I'm trying to do here but I'm just ungrouping it, deleting that, and then now when I click on it I'm able to just expand the size of it so that I can change the size of it just by uh, dragging one of the corners. Now I'm just playing around to figure out what size it is. I think I went with around 230 and that was a good enough size for the image so that it wasn't too big and that it fit as a thumbnail, but also so that it was good looking. Once I have that, I'm just going to arrange it in the center. As you guys see, these lines pop up and those are basically your um, guides as to where the center is. And then I went ahead and I played around with the color. As you guys can see, you can make the color the same color as the background and it'll add a cool effect and it'll look almost like this uh, pinky muted shadow, but I personally I went with the white one for this background, or for this text just because I thought it looked the best. Then if you want to add additional text, just go back to the text option on the left and then go to subheading or body text and type in whatever you want to say. I would recommend putting something about having a new video uploaded like every week at some point. So I went ahead and added that and then I played around with a bunch of different fonts. Now one tip when you're putting different fonts in a thumbnail is that you want to make sure they look cohesive. One easy trick is to have a script font and then also have a font that's more plain. So uh, I have Open Sans Light for instance. I didn't use this one because I decided I just didn't like it. But just play around with using scripts and then more plain fonts and it'll give you a good look to your uh, banner. I think I ended up using this uh, Times New Roman-esque one and then I saved it. Um, now I'm going to show you guys how to change the background. So you're just going to go to the background option right here and you guys can see that there are a ton of different options that you can change it to. Now you're going to have to play around with colors and shadows a little bit because some of these backgrounds aren't suitable for the text to make it look like a neon sign. I'm going to show you guys how to fix this one for instance. So the first thing you're going to need to do is change the color of your text because it's not going to show up on the background if they're both the same color. Then what I did is I went to the elements and I added this gray square and what I'm doing is resizing it just so that it is the size of my banner. And the reason we're doing this is because we're going to be adding shadows and stuff in an easier way so that you can see the text in the foreground. What you're going to do is click on it, go to position and move that behind the text and I also chose this light gray color. Then you'll see next to the paint roller there's an option to change the transparency or the opacity of it and I just played around with it until I got an effect that I liked. Uh, I wanted it to look a little bit muted but I didn't want to lose the brick in the background and that was pretty much it.